All of these uh, interventions that we describe in the book are characterized by a combination of consistently strong school supports. In other words, to, to enable schools to continually get better, and also what we call sensible accountability. And one criteria for sensible account one criterion for sensible accountability is that uh, it makes it more attractive for talented uh, teachers to want to work in these schools. So one kind of simple criterion in looking at state accountability systems is it making it more attractive or less attractive to attract and retain teaching talent in high poverty schools. I think that's an, a simple a litmus test that good accountability systems should pass. Now, of course, the question is, uh, why are these uh, schools, even though they serve a significant number of children, why are these interventions exceptional? Why don't more low-income children have access to the quality of education that uh, is present in these interventions that we describe? And our view is it's really that, as a nation, we don't have uh, systems that provide this important combination of consistently strong supports to schools and sensible accountability. We'd like to think that's what urban school districts ought to be doing, but I don't think there's an urban school district in the country that does that well. Uh, a lot of charter schools have found, to their dismay, how hard it is to actually improve their performance, and that's why a growing number of charter schools are are part of networks with, with uh, charter management organizations. Well, will charter management organizations do a better job in developing systems that provide this accountability and support? I think the jury is still out on that. So uh, we are uh, cautiously encouraged about the possibilities for the future.